Hey guys, I'm still here, you know? I haven't made a video in a week. And we're back to another Doodle World PvP challenge. This is a different type of intro compared, you know, to my other team showcase videos. But it's because I wanted to, you know, share some things first before we get into the battles. A disclaimer, you know, this video is just for fun. And, you know, the team I'll be showing this video isn't really the best, you know, uh, yeah. So, you know, okay, there. Anyway, you know, if someone asks me what is the best thing I've done in this channel so far, I mean, we only have 30, 38 videos, but it has to be the Doodle World um, PvP, but you guys decided my team. That was kind of fun and innovative, so I wanted to attempt another type of challenge like this. So this time, I actually got a few um, cool people involved with this challenge. For more clarification, what I actually did is I went into these six content creators' comment sections and asked them their favorite type then use the replies as a template for what team I would build for this video. All of these guys will be linked in the description below and check them out once the vid is over. So the first Doodle World content creator on my list here is Axelbor. You know, um, he's kinda new, you know, as like new as in has only 5 videos as I am writing this script. And you've probably seen him in my comment section. If you enjoy silent PvP content, like content like mine, but you can't stand my voice. You can just go watch him. He's pretty good. And he, you know, suggested three different types, which is normal, ground, and crystal. So I just picked normal. As for the doodle, I was thinking of Pompa Boy, you know, because for, yeah, obvious reasons. But then I just decided on Draco Thread since, you know, I haven't, I really want to try to use it. Alright, this guy is pretty cool. He's Gamer670 and, you know, he should have more subs, definitely. He makes both content on Lumion Legacy and Doodle World, and, you know, if you like Speedy Sonic's content, like one of the most popular like, Doodle World YouTubers, definitely subscribe to this guy, you know. So he suggests Insect, which is pretty interesting, and yeah, I do agree with him. Insects are kind of underrated. So a bug I'd pair with Draco Thread is Mothra, so you know, here is Mothra, it's a hidden trait offensive version. So here we have Tommy Place, he's another cool person, you know, here. And, you know, I haven't really seen much female content creators in Doodle World, so you know, keep it up. And she does some variety content, making some art, news, like update videos, and even, you know, some like challenges. She's always trying new things, and if she finds something that, you know, definitely fits her, she has potential, and, you know, you should go sub to her. So she chooses plant types, so I just, um, placed Marvel here, so, you know, if you're watching this, what do you think about Marvel? So, the next creator here we have is Pompey. He has 134 subs, um, you know, right now, well, you know, when I took the screenshot, and his channel's pretty similar to mine. But he definitely makes some good, you know, Doodle World and even some Lumion Legacy content. And he also has content on tournaments, like, I don't have yet. He's miles better at me than in PvP. Check him out for some, you know, really good gameplay. So for his type, he chooses water, and yeah, they're, you know, reliable and plentiful. So I choose... M Malzuri, yes. The previous one was Smallvale and Mothra, so both of them were like, M's. Okay, anyway, yeah, I chose Malzuri. This one is actually a set I want to try out. It's a uh, weird jelly Malzuri. The next creator on this list is Absolute Huge. I mean, you know, he has to be huge. Come on, guys, sub to him. This guy is actually one of my inspirations. You know, before I made this channel, I watched his Doodle World content. And, you know, he also posts silent PvP videos with a bunch of, like, just some video game OST at the background. It's pretty good. And, you know, he picks water. I mean, at least, I actually expected, you know, at least two people to pick water since it's a pretty good type. So, the previous one was Malzuri. Now, I picked Skadeen for him. I showcased it previously and I really like it. So this guy's the final content creator here and the biggest people, the biggest person here. So he should be the the, the, the thumbnail. And he's one of my favorite Doodle World slash Lumion Legacy content creators and I've been watching his content for a while. Even before I played Doodle World, like I, I, I did Lumion Legacy PvP, but then I just moved to Doodle World because I preferred it much better. And you know, he's a pretty fun guy to watch. 
and you know we need him to go more and he chooses food types so you know for a very cool guy I chose like the coolest one of the coolest food types um Meltimo so to get this video seen you know by these guys and by more people what I want you guys to do is go in the comments and say a bunch of nice things about these guys and tell why and tell people why they should watch them but you know don't force anybody and make sure to subscribe to all these guys um you know also subscribe to this channel and i might do a part two maybe with more content creators so um let's get to the showcase so guys yeah like um you know this is after after i recorded some of the battles so you know basically like right this is the team we have the normal type the bug type the grass type water type both of the water types and the food type so you know this is i'm not gonna spend too much time on these sets but this is basically a defensive one and then this one is you know offense with uh leech then we got gloomy you know the basic one i use then we got the weird jelly one with the light screen and the rain dance and then now we've got Skadian with the wave shot so we can deal with hazards and this offensive secret ability hidden ability melting all yeah yes he does have has an exoval and he has a spring ring he could lead with um spare you or he could lead with my um plangatang or spring ring looking good but let's just see how this goes okay he sends out spare you I do outspeed him but you know um yeah what we can do here is send out just um he could disarm though he still disarms okay okay he crushes which you know might it's better for us so we don't lose these crayons. Okay, now the go to swap. Um, so I'm going to wing slash obviously because he is you know, super effective. But the go to swap here for wing slash would be maybe Clangatang. So if we are able to disarm the Clangatang, it would be really good. But okay, he stays in. Um, so he does a lot less. Okay. So now I still think he's going to swap. So. If, if, okay, if I, if he does swap, that would be very good for me. So I wing slash now. Okay, yes, that's good, okay? Okay, now he sends out Springling. So this I mean the Springling would be good, it's good, it's good. He can't do much to me aside from this army himself. And I think I'm fine with just losing my crayons. Yeah, you see? Because I still heal. Alright. And then I can just get rid of Springling. Because that could be a problem. That could be a massive issue. Next, he might bring in... Okay, he brings in Biotnik. Okay, s Biotnik doing stitching could is kind of be an issue. But disarming any... Okay. Oh, oh yeah, alright. I have no idea what I can do. Hmm. Okay, now Biotnik. I can't do much to Marvel. Marvel definitely won't. I think what I can do is... Is he gonna swap into... I think Shadow Ball here. Yeah. Now Fire, he's gonna go and do some fire here okay i think i'm playing decently oh he jammed black okay
He might jam blast again, so. Oh, he wave shots. Yeah, yeah, there he wave shots. Okay, okay. Good call, good call. Um. I think if I set up Rainmaker, yeah. I could set up Rainmaker. I mean, if if uh, um, Malzuri has Rust, I don't have Rust on this guy yet. I could um, just go into Aquamarine. No, no, Chelsea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The the Shel the Scadian, the Scadian, of course. Um, to what they call it, to do some massive damage. Rust is good against most of his team aside from Biotnik. Definitely. Oh, Biotnik. Oh, 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 he cuts for you. Okay, that, that does a lot, though. Hmm. Spare you definitely, like, crushes me. Right, Jesus, crush. Okay, let's see what he does here. I'm not sure if this works, but Shatter could, um, potentially... Oh, yes! Yes, okay, but Shatter definitely works. Okay, okay, good, 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 good. Now he goes into... Klangatang, right? Against Klangatang, he's... He could Fire Slash me. Is he gonna Fire Slash? Is he gonna... Oh, he can't do Earth, he... Would he disarm, would he... Okay, I think he's gonna try Elemental Slash, right? He's just gonna try Elemental Slash. If, if, if not, then this dies. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. This, yeah, yeah. Alright. I had that coming, though, so... He's gonna go into Biotnik, but... At least we can see some... You know... Rust ship. But Biotnik mimicking titanium bu bucket is. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. Alright, alright. So he does not swap. That That's good for us. That's good for us. Definitely. Now, Spill You. I know we survived this. Okay, I, I think I think we can just rust because it will activate our heal jelly. So that's good. No, that's not good. <laughs> so let's just go into this guy now because yeah. Closer to okay, mass comedy. I wonder what mass comedy. Wait, wait. I haven't really fought mass comedy that much. It's oh, is it okay? If if it trades items with me, I don't really care. But hmm, it's a light type, light and spirit. Okay, now this. I mean, Marvel is definitely can definitely can deal with this, but hmm. I think I can just go to Marvel. I just I might go into Marvel. Yeah, gleeful use. That's what I expected, but I don't really care if it's. Oh, wait. Does it have items? I mean, it gets rid of my item, but I don't know if it has an item or not. Oh yeah. Okay, I expected him to have some sort of like, what's it called? Um, the frozen snack. So 
so Mogavale definitely deals with um, both of these guys. So. Hey, that's pretty good. It's actually, you know, this team did decently because, you know, I did other battles which, you know, had <laughs> worse results. But, yeah. Okay. So, great job to the YouTuber team, guys. Let's go! Subscribe to them! Subscribe to them, guys! Let's go! Yeah, and you know, thanks thanks for watching this video, man. Um, like, even if you're here, like, it's, I haven't uploaded in like a week, right? So, you know, 